Hello and welcome back to Greedfall. This is part 16. Last time we went to a new area in the forest looking for this healer woman, the Tierna, and we need to gain trust with the natives. But we ran into a little bit of a hiccup because we weren't able to um, fix the, the hunting bells. So what I want to do this episode is progress Kurt's quest so that we can increase Kurt's friendship status to us so that we get his perk from craftsmanship when we become proper friends with him, which I'm surprised we're not friends already, but apparently we're not. So before we do that, uh, we left off last, last episode in Ulan's camp, um, who is a peaceful uh, tribesman who wants to create a trading agreement with Hikmet. So we're going to go and organize a meeting with another tribe leader now um, in this area first. And then after that, we'll go and do Kurt's quest with the ghost regiment. So let's go. Hot springs. Ooh. Ooh. Look over here. Oh, hot springs. There's actually the clues in the name, but there's actually hot springs. How would I go in there? <gasps> Wait, what the fuck is that? <gasps> what? Okay, he's just kind of, he's just chilling there. And that looks like there's a dead body right next to him as well. Okay. He's some sort of swampy tree creature. But can I go into the water? I've never been able to go into water before. Okay, I guess we can. What can you do? Nadag Vedemen. <gasps> oh, he's like a... He's got, um... Oh, he reminds me of um, Davy Jones in Pirates of the Caribbean because he's got like oh, poison. He's got like a tentacles face. Ah! Okay, he's not so bad. Oh, ow, 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 ow. spoke too soon. Oh my god. Okay, he's not so bad. He's quite slow. It's a poison attack that's probably bad. Oh, it's a it's a woman. I'm sorry. You've got lovely boobs. She really does. Oh, I feel kind of bad killing you, then. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Swamp creature. And a level up. Nice. Okay, we're off to a good start this episode. That was an easy boss fight, though, to be fair. There's some crazy, tentacly, booby swamp creature. And some poor fucker who died. Oh, nice. Look at this. New armor, new gauntlets. And coin guard soldier's key. This poor man's chest must be somewhere near the closest military camp. All right, so I guess... We have to be on a lookout for a chest when we go to um, some sort of camp nearby, uh, belonging to the coin guard specifically. Yeah, that was a pretty straightforward boss fight. Um, usually when we fight bosses, we find Professor Seraphedon's notes nearby, but we didn't find any for that particular creature. So I wonder if there's some lying around somewhere. Or I wonder if there's more... Maybe she wasn't the only one. Maybe there was more swamp creatures around. <gasps> oh, no way. We're right beside a skill altar. Oh, this is too good to be true. We got a skill al altar last episode. Uh, we got... We unlocked um, backstab, which gives us a 20% uh, damage bonus on uh, stabbing enemies from behind. So now we get another free skill point. And this one isn't even... Like, the last one was covered in traps. The one before that had baddies outside of it. And this one is just completely out in the open. Seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Like, why isn't there anything protecting it or fighting me? Okay. Just a... Disappearing deer. Hmm. Okay, well... 
I'll take that free skill point. And we leveled up to um, 15 a minute ago. So let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this is what I want to do. If we unlock economical alchemy, I think that will unlock file throw on the next. Yeah, file throw. So we need two points to unlock this. Allow the throwing of alchemical preparations which explode on impact. So instead of setting traps, we could, or as well as setting traps, we could throw exploding potions, which would be pretty fun. So we need one more scale point for that. So we can save up for that. I might as well unlock the rifle as well. And then we'll see what's the next thing that that unlocks. Anointed weapons. Oh, that's how you do that. Allows the application of alchemical preparations on weapons, which adds an effect to the following hits. Max attacks four. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's head up this way. Oh, there's loads of roly-poly monsters. I wonder if I sneak around. Can I loot the stuff around them? Is that a chest? Yes, it is. What's in there? <gasps> Great poison club. Can I give that to Kurt? Is that better? It's less damage, but it's more stun, more fury gen, and more... And it's poison as well. And it's more am armor damage. Yeah, okay. Let's give you that. That's quite cool. Nice one. Um, okay, there's quite a lot of roly-polies around here, but I really want to loot that whatever's over there. It looks like a... Possibly dead body. Maybe if that one walks away, I'll go by. Okay, I'm not here, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here. You don't see me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, they're not so bad. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Usually those guys are pretty tough when they're in a group. What was the thing I came over here to see? Is this a dead body? What is this? Oh, yes! Professor Seraphidon's journal. Okay. It is fascinating. This guardian genuinely resembles the swamp. I was making the inventory of our remaining supplies when a dreadful smell reached my nostrils. A greenish cloud had just appeared near me. I immediately started running, but some of our men, who were closer and breathed, to the, breathed ga the gas, collapsed. The cloud must have been poisonous, and I am afraid the only way to escape it is to never stay in one place for too long, or to take antidotes as a, as a preventative measure. Okay, thanks, Sir Fedden. Um, I found that after I already found this swamp creature. One out of three, so there should be more notes. Somewhere else as well. I love finding Professor Seraphidon's notes. Ooh, standing stones. This must mean we're getting closer to a village. Here we go. Here's people. I really hope they're friendly. Are you friendly? Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay, Viggles Gob. Viggles Sob. Ooh, you're cool looking. I like your flaming axe. All right, these people have like um. Do they have skull skulls? Oh no, it's just their leather hoods. I thought they were wearing like skulls and stuff, but um, they're not. I'm just crazy. Okay, was this a campsite? All right, so I just went uh, set up camp and sorted out my inventory. So we should be good to go now. Do they have domesticated creatures? Ooh. I think they have domesticated, like, 
werewolfy, beasty things. Hello. Ooh, I like your antlers. Ooh. <gasps> Does he have the same mark that I have? Ooh. This place is cool. Oh my god, look at the waterfall! <gasps> it's like a giant... Three different giant heads. That is so cool. That looks like a bear head, maybe on the right, and then the middle one kind of looks like a snake. And the one on the left maybe looks like a... One of the lizardy roly-poly things or something. That is so cool. Look at these. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Is that another... That's not another skill altar, is it? What is this? Oh, it is. Whoa, cool. So we got two skill altars this episode. That's nice. Very nice. I think we have to save up another one before we can upgrade stuff, though. I think the next thing I want to unlock needs two. Okay, so I think Mordan, the leader, is up here somewhere. This is a really cool camp. That waterfall is amazing. But, so I guess they must have carved, or their ancestors carved, those faces years ago. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Here we go. Okay, let's go talk to Mordan and see what he is like. Oh, he's cool looking. Hello. What are you doing here, and I say, your coin are not welcome in my village. Talk about the alliance with Ulan. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaik's say. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal, a proud man, not a slug. Uh -oh. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. Oh, here we go. Let Siora speak. Siora, Mordun, you know me. I know the cost of war. My village has paid for it dearly. But do you not think that this is a time we made peace? Why is she or looking at, at me? Or at least a time we listen to what Ulan and the Emissary have to say. If your mother could see you, daughter of Bladnid, how can you defend the Rhaenaixe? Oh, I wouldn't bring her mother into it. Try to take advantage of his pride. Okay. The Donea Exregal I have met were fearless, and yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Having a discussion with Ulan takes no Didn't courage, Renaik say. Just foolishness. Please don't fight me. This man <laughs> would convince his own mother to jump from a cliff if it benefited him. Swear on your honor. I understand your reluctance, Mordun. People from the continent have not given you much reason to trust them. Yet I promise you, it is just a meeting, nothing more. If what they offer you does not suit you, you will be free to refuse and come back here, unhindered. Are you willing to swear on the name of your ancestors, Renaixe? Yes, I swear. Foin. I swear. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lanristel. Okay. I will be there in a few hours. Lanristel. I will tell them right away. 
Thank is that? Is that a new place that we haven't been to before? Inform Ulan and the Emissary really of Mordun's conditions. To to I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaixe is so strong. Uh, well, I mean, I did fail my charisma check. I have noticed that this game has, you know, the way it shows the percentage of your chance of success for charisma checks. And I've just noticed, like, there's been about three times lately that um, a 75% chance has failed. And I'm just wondering how much of is, is that accurate? You know? Anyway, so he wants Ulan to meet him at Lanrestal. So I guess we have to go back to Ulan. Yeah, so it's just over here in this area near the waterfall that um, I haven't been to before. So I just want to see what's over here because you never know. There might be another creature or there might be a bus or there might be chess a chest or there might be who knows okay that looks like regular bodies and a corpse which could be more of Seraph Eden's notes about to get dicey. Ouch. Okay. Okay, so what is this over here? A body. Another great poisoned club. Okay. Oh, there could be more swamp creatures. Ooh. That looks like, um, that looks like another shrine of some kind. It's hardly another skill altar. Silverfall. What are the chances we would get three skill altars in one episode? How do I get out? How do I get there, though? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, it is. It is a... S it is! Oh my god, nice one. So we've got another skill for free. Okay, that is cool. This waterfall is pretty nice. So let's pop that skill in two, because we've got two skill points now. We can unlock anointed weapons, we can unlock file throw. Or what's that? Shadow Burst. Is that a magical thing? Knocks back and deals magic damage to all enemies around the caster. Very useful to turn the tide of a melee fight. Let's do File Throw for now. We'll do File Throw and then see how we make bombs and then we can throw stuff. How do we do that actually? How do we do that? Oh, here we go. It's just unlocked. Throw elemental bomb, throw magic bomb, throw poison bomb. Cool. We'll have to try that out soon. That was worth coming up here then for a free skill point. Okay, so we'll just head down here and see if there's anything of interest and then we'll get going then after this. Cave of knowledge. Look at the size of the door. Cave of knowledge. See, this is why I wanted to come down here. Because I was like, you might find something. Who knows what it could be. And you might find a giant cave of knowledge. What does that even mean? What kind of knowledge? Can we even go in here? Is it like locked or anything? 
Can we go in here? Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, we can't go in here. No, let me in, let me in, let me in. I want to know stuff. I like knowledge. This is a cool door. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Because we can't get in now, so I wonder if we're going to come back later for some reason. Okay, let's report to Ulan about what Mordun said. And about setting up an emissary. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. Oh, thanks. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lan Ristel means Glade of Promises. It is mm. a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, Makes we sense. should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Yay. Olan is acting strangely. Oh. I do not trust him. <laughs> oh no. We should go to Lan Ristel to make sure we're not being tricked. And if we want to see this encounter, tricked. we should leave now. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, it was a little suspicious that they... It was a little suspicious that they had me stay outside while they negotiated. So I can see why... It could be suspicious. So we have to travel to Lanristel within the time limit. Where is that? Um, attend the negotiations. Hang on. So is that on the local map? Oh, okay. It's up there. Oh no, I thought we just did a good thing. And now Siora is saying that he's acting strange and being suspicious and stuff. But if they're going to the Glade of the Promises... You would think that it would be an honourable meeting, but what is Ulan up to? And there's a house here. A little tent. Traveller's Diary page. At the edge of the woods, when I was taking the route north toward the heart of the mountain, I saw on the road to the left behind the bushes a bridge which led to a chest. It makes you wonder who could have left a chest in such a place. Surely a not treasure. Night is falling. I'll go and look tomorrow. Treasure? Oh. Is it here? Is Oh, it's here. Oh, it's where the guy died. Oh, yeah, we found his body before. So he tried to cross this bridge and fell, o fell over and died. And I could see the chest. But it's a uh, level two vigor, which I don't have. I need a bit of practice. So we won't be able to get that treasure. It's very dark. Can't see anything. I hear fighting. Why is there fighting? What is going on? Who's fighting who? Bridge Alliance people. Bridge Alliance people. Why are they fighting? Your arrogance, What? So they ambushed him? Adloredar. Thank you for coming. You saved me. You kept your promise. I never thought I would ever meet an honorable Renaixe. I'm really sorry. I never thought they would dare to do such a thing. Datakarset <sighs> Ulan. I should have known he would betray us both. I thought Ulan was a nice guy. Are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in what the end. What a snake! I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, oh. Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Yeah. Farewell, on all Manawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. 
Oh my god. Ulan seemed like such a nice, gen like, just a generally nice, peaceful guy who wanted to make peace treaties and trade agreements. I can't believe you did this. And the bridge alliance are such snakes as well. It's like they just ambushed this guy trying to murder him and his whole clan just because he was just because he was resisting them. Ah. Oh, these people. Oh, they make me so mad. They make me so mad. I just want to slap them all. Ugh. There's more bandits up here, but I think they're just general bandits. Like, yeah, I'm surprised. I did not see that coming. I thought Ulan, Ulan wanted peace and was just a generally nice dude. And he's a backstabbing snake. Well, hello, skill altar. Hello, skill altar and a camp area. Nice. Four out of four camp areas set up now in this area. Is there anyone here? Because looks like there's houses and stuff. There's houses, but there's no, no native people here. Ooh, great flaming needle. I think this is like what Siora, Siora's weapon is. Okay, and let's activate the skill altar. Hooray! Wow. So we got, I think, four skill altars in this episode. And now we have two. Oh no, we have one. One point. Okay. We can launch them from further away. Increases fury generated by attacks hitting your enemies from behind. Okay, let's do fury gen. Fury gen is always good. All right, we're back in the village. Let's go confront Ulan. Ulan, what have you done? What have you done? You have a lot to answer for now. Traitor. This yeah. meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortum was a Danea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am yeah. sorry. But I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger. But keep in mind that we are now at peace. Thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri. And should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Okay. Wow, so that still increased our reputation. Wow, wow, wow. What do you think of people from the continent? Many of our people would love for all the Renaig say to leave, but I would not. It is thanks to them that I was able to breathe new life into Vignamri. They have a lot to teach us. The Lions have powerful weapons and very effective potions. Mm. The Lugayat Blau, your people offer us very beautiful things in exchange for our pieces of art. Lugayid Blau? Is this what you call the congregation? It means yellow eyes, because there seem to be round yellow eyes on your flags. They are coins. And what does Teleme offer you? The men of the sun seldom come here, but their magic is powerful and so different from ours. I wish my brothers would understand how much we would benefit from an alliance with you. From making peace. Anything else? 
Hmm. Tell me about your clan. We are called the Seaside Nemeis. The Bone Blowers. Because it is in our tradition to sculpt Moramil bones. These creatures Moramil are the bones. great kings of the sea. The whole island knows of our artisans. We trade with other clans a lot. And we also trade with the Renaixe, of course. Anything else? What can you tell me about your village? Vignamri means the king's bones. It is a very ancient village. It used to be one of the largest on this island. Before the people of the sea tried to take Tiafredi from us. Some battles took place very close to here. <laughs> Legend has it that this is the place where the first guardian fell. And that this is the yeah. reason why our village was given its name. Yeah, we After found that already, didn't we? the abductions and the ransacking, people used to disappear frequently. We were taught to be cursed. But I changed all of that. And I gave our clan its prosperity back. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Yeah, that was a few episodes back when we went to that cave and we found the the skeleton of the first guardian. Cool. So that all seemed to end pretty well. <laughs> Despite him backstabbing us and lying to us. Okay, uh, I have another skill point there, do I? Oh, I can unlock an attribute. Um, okay, ooh, what do I want? Accuracy, agility, strength, mental power, willpower, endurance. We'll go with accuracy. Level three, and then we have a skill point to put into something. I could throw grenades from further away. Or... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do... throwing grenades from further away. Alright, let's talk to Kurt about his mission. Greenblood, my friend. I can't stop thinking about Rainer and what happened to him. Let me know when you're ready to accompany me to those bastards' training camp. I need the help of my best student. Let's go. How can I refuse such let's a request? Let's do it. Well then, let's go. Okay. So we've got Kurt. And Sura. Do I want to bring Sura with me? We can bring her for now. I might switch her out to Vasco. Oh wait, we can travel here. When Shaganah, the singing waters. That's where those bandits messed me up a long time ago. I would love to fight them again now and prove them wrong. Okay, go to the Ghost Regiment camp with Kurt. So let's travel here. When Shaganah and... I remember this place. I remember those dudes. Why can't I... Get this stupid tree. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, the memories. Oh, the bad memories coming back. I think I could take them now, though. I think I can take them. No. I've got grenades. I've leveled up loads. I have so much stuff. Okay. Throw magic bomb. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Magic trap. And let's throw some more bombs, shall we? Throw another bomb. Yeah, how do you like me now? Backstab you. Right. Nope, you're not doing it. Nope, I'm not letting you do that magic shit. Get out of it. Any left? Is there any left? 
all this one down here. Come on. Yes. I'm so powerful. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good to come back and mess them up. They messed me up so bad. That was like episodes and episodes ago. That was so long ago. Oh, that felt good to come back and kill them all. Poison Club is pretty good that I gave to Kurt. Seems to be doing nicely. Okay, we can go to the right through here, maybe. Seems like the type of place you would get ambushed down this little narrow ravine. Good secret hiding spot, though, for a secret regiment. There's a campfire. Okay, it's pretty secluded down here. They picked a really good place to hide anyway. But well, I think we're pretty close now. I think it's just down here. Here we go. Secret camp. They gonna talk to me? We're just walking in, okay. Alrighty then. I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be oh. you, Kurt. Rolf, you're the leader of this camp. You two know each other. We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is de Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Captain Vasco. No need to comment about our distance from the sea. <laughs> I know. These people sure are important. Poor Vasco. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guards' business. Does the same apply to me? <sighs> Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So... What would you like to know? Okay, at least he's willing to talk. Ask him about the camp's purpose. What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret, even from your comrades in the guard? The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. Mm. Secrecy is usually a bad for a bad reason. Find out about the site's organization. 
This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How's it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. What does that mean? Ask about the training received Will there. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. So, who are they practicing on exactly? Discuss Rainer's death. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rainer. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbour. Don't insult Come my on. intelligence, Rolf. <sighs> All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable, but these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. <sighs> I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. Old barrack rivalries. Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. Oh. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. So they're still trying to pass off Rainer's death as an accident. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the Merchant Congregation. She would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. Um, details about your squad. How squadron. do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. Mm -hmm. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. Find out about training. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. Ask her how she got here. How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, uh, Charisma tried to corrupt her to obtain information about Rainer. 75% chance to succeed? Cut. Let's see. Don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. Your cousin is a governor of New Serena, I've Successful. Heard. It's a prestigious position. I don't doubt my abilities, but an offer like this, made so suddenly, must have a price. We can't hide anything from you. We're trying to find out what happened to Rainer, a recruit who trained here. That name doesn't sound familiar. He must have been in the Shadow Squadron. The other Lieutenant Squadron? Yes. I'm sorry, haven't been much use to you. Did something happen to him? He died. His body was thrown into the harbor to make it look like he drowned. The Shadow Squadron. I guess squadron. it was one of your recruits. My condolences, Captain. We'll question some of your soldiers. 
At your orders, but please be quick. I'd like to get on with training. Okay, so we can question the recruits or we can talk to... And we can talk to the other squadron. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Madam. Yeah, ask can about the squadron. Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. Discuss the training. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Yeah. Now these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. Mention Rainer's case. I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rainer fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? Um, During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. Simulated happens. ambush. No I'd way like did he fall. i to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're going to go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This Lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Yeah, there's no way he fell. He was definitely pushed for some reason. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. How you the training's exhausted. going? Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the shadow. What is that? Strength of the shadow. Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Ask about Rainer. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rainer. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? He left. I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rayna left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Okay, so Sorry, they're a lion. But that's not what happened. I, I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, madam. Captain. Good heavens. I feel like a bogeyman. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. They're all saying different things, so they're all probably lying. Let's see if these ones know anymore. Can I get up here? Okay. Talk to these ones. Hello? Hello, soldier. Captain? We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, madam. I'm listening. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. Mm. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, madam. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. So there's the Phantom Squadron and the Shadow Squadron. 
discuss accidents during maneuvers. We learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. Oh. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain, these kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. You can't hide the lies. Okay, let's talk to this last one. Soldier. Captain. At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, my lady. Really? Nothing. Come on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Well. Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Mm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rayner sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. Uh, you seem rather hesitant. <laughs> Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Rayner. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Wow. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Spectre Squadron. Wilhelm. How many squadrons are there? Lieutenants, report. Captain? Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Alrighty. Got rid of the lieutenants. Let's go talk to... Wilhelm again. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Captain Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? Okay, what's really going on? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the guards' elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Hell? Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. Why? Like, they even what's push the point? us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. All they leave you with is your survival instinct. Obey or die. It's inhuman. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. Yeah. Okay, what about Rainer? As for Rainer, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. Oh, he That's when things back. blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in. That's and awful. Strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Oh my something. god. 
have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Reyna. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Jesus. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Yes, please. Let's <laughs> pretend to leave the camp. Do, 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 do. So what I want to know is why did why did they bother bringing Rainer's body back to New Serene and dumping him in the harbour and pretending to find his body there? Like, if he died all the way out here, they could have just shoved him under a bush and forgotten about him. I don't know. I guess they had to... Kurt, Wilhelm has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They are humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You know about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. We can't just barge in and hope they give up. What's your plan? Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. Okay. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight, especially Wilhelm. Whoa. All right, I'm going to end the episode there. Things are getting very interesting here with Kurt's side quest, looking into the ghost regiment. Yeah, we're going to pick up next episode, sneaking into the camp at nightfall and finding out more about the ghost regiment and what happens here. And yeah and then after that i'm not sure what we're doing so hopefully after this quest kurt will be on friendship level with us and then that will give us his craftsmanship perk and then we can go back and fix those bells and yeah continue looking for the tierna the healer woman so we'll do that next episode thanks for watching and i'll see you next time